Hi everyone and welcome back to New Egg TV. My name is Paul and today we have an unboxing for you. This is the EVGA GTX 580 Classified and not only is it a GTX 580 but it is also a 3 gigabyte GTX 580. There's no less than 3072 megabytes of GDDR5 gaming video memory on this, uh, on this video card. Uh, as you can see it is still in its plastic shrink wrap, so I am going to very carefully unwrap this here and show you guys what all comes in the box. But for starters, uh, let's 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 take a closer look at the box itself, so we can get a better idea of some of the features of this card. Let's just run down real quickly the key features. Of course, it's, it's an NVIDIA GPU, so you get a lot of NVIDIA stuff. GTX 580, so DirectX 11 support, CUDA support. Uh, C, C++, Direct Compute 5.0, and OpenCL. Physx, you also get Pure Video HD technology. It is capable of two-way, three-way, and four-way SLI. Of course, you're going to need a special adapter to do four-way, uh, but three-way, definitely within range of a lot of people. You get 3D Vision support. It is a PCI Express 2.0 card. Uh, you also get two, two dual-link DVI HDCP capable connectors. Uh, you also have an EVBOT connector, which I'll show you, and that allows you to use an external overclocking tool that EVGA, EVGA sells separately, and also OpenGL 4.1 support. Also has 14 plus 3 phase power, and uh, you get a 24-7 support from EVGA, an EVGA parts and labor warranty, a free precision overclocking utility, and a free OC scanner utility. That's about enough for the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what comes inside the box, starting from this side. All right, now as mentioned, you get uh, dual link DVI connectors with this. So they have given you the option to go from DVI to HDMI. So there's a DVI to HDMI adapter. This is a DVI to VGA adapter. I don't recommend using VGA if you can avoid it, but some people are using older monitors, so you still need that sometimes. Uh, here you have, this is a SLI plug, so you can basically take a 8-pin SLI and split it into two 6-pin, I'm sorry, not SLI, PCI Express power plug. Uh, you can take an 8-pin PCI Express power plug, split it into two 6-pin PCI Express power plugs. This will allow you to take two Molex plugs and go into a single 6-pin PCI Express power plug. You also get an EVGA badge for your case right in there, as well as an EVGA uh, warranty I'm sorry, that's a software drive as well as drivers. Usually best to download the latest drivers for the GTX 580 from the EVGA or NVIDIA website, of course, but you can, you can use that too if you want. Uh, you also get a graphics card user guide with some information, it's like even color printing, and a GeForce 500 series quick start guide, black and white paper in there. Uh, oh, hey, we have a, a poster. Oh, yeah, this is the... Uh, EVGA gaming poster, which is a, a big skeleton that will shoot you in the face. There's your skeleton poster from EVGA. And now the video card itself. Uh, first off, it says, Dear customer, thank you for purchasing the GTX 580 Classified. For those planning to use aftermarket cooling, we've included a non-conductive film for you to apply on your aftermarket heat sink. This will help prevent any uh, possible shorting. So they've given you the... Uh, caps or whatever that you want to put this non-conductive film over, and that is if you're going to remove the custom heat sink that EVGA has used and put on your own. So for example, if you're going to swap out for maybe water cooling or a custom cooler. Uh, also bear in mind here that uh, please allow the graphics card to cool for a minimum of two minutes after operation and a couple things about using 8-pin PCIe connectors. Oh, they want you to not use the CPU 8-pin connector because those both have 8 pins and uh, definitely best to keep those separate from each other. It's kind of impossible to do that because they're keyed differently, but just in case you don't want to try to force in a, uh, an APS power connector when you're hooking up this video card. And now we have the video card itself in its EVGA protective electrostatic bag. And there we go, the GTX 580 Classified. So you can see here they have uh, done a custom design with this. This is definitely 
pretty far from the reference 580. This is a two-slot card. It has a plastic housing covering this entire thing, an 80, uh, 80 millimeter blower down there at the end. Again, the 14 plus three pa phase power uh, that is advertised there. Engineered for extreme overclocking, native three-way, four-way SLI support, etc. cetera. Uh, looks like they have some uh, mounting points here. These are probably for voltage, uh, for monitoring your voltages. That is my guess, although I'm not sure right out of the box. Uh, for power, they're giving you eight plus eight plus six. So you need a lot of power for this uh, GPU. That's a, a lot of PCI Express power connectors there. Make sure you have enough available from your power supply. Here in the back, we see we have a black PCB, and you can see the general layout of the PCB there with the GPU right under that point. Uh, again, PCI Express uh, 2.0 compatible. You got your two SLI connectors at the top, so you can set up two-way or three-way SLI. You'll notice here that the card uh, gets thicker at this point, or I should say wider, um, by about a good inch or inch and a half. And uh, I'm going to get out my um, measuring stick here, actually, so I can verify this. From the PCI bracket, just flip that around, you have it's about a little over five inches tall, so make sure you have enough room in your case. Generally speaking, you should, uh, but also lengthwise. The card is measured from the PCI bracket, just over 11 inches long. So not terribly long. I've definitely seen uh, longer cards than that. But again, make sure you have room in your case if you're using a smaller one so you can fit this card. Uh, and it has a, uh, a lot of power, so make sure you ha also have enough power. They're recommending, at minimum, a 600-watt power supply for this card. And then finally here on the back, you can see an exhaust vent there on a PCI Express bracket. There are your two dual-link DVI outs. And uh, again, you have that uh, special connector there for EVGA's overclocking tool. Just to give you guys a few more specs on this one, the 3072 megabytes of GDDR5 memory has a 384-bit memory interface and a total bandwidth of 202.1 gigabytes per second. Uh, the memory effective clock is also, uh, it's overclocked to 4,212 megahertz. That is compared to the 4,008 megahertz effective memory clock at stock speeds. Uh, the GPU core is at 855 megahertz. That's as compared to 772 stock. Uh, and it has 512 CUDA cores. And finally, the shader clock is at 1,710 megahertz. That's as compared to 1,544 stock. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the EVGA GTX 580 Classified Edition with 3 gigabytes or 3,072 megabytes of GDDR5 memory. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.